Hi, welcome to the lesson for the song While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Before we get started, you want to go ahead and get your, your music sheet uh, that's entitled While My Guitar Gently Weeps and uh, come on back. By the way, uh, just go ahead and pause the tutorial, get your music sheet and it would be a good idea to tune up your ukulele. Come on back, we'll get started in about a second. Okay, so let's uh, check our tuning first of all, G, C, E, A. Okay, so let's talk about the board before we get started. Uh, on the board, you have the, the chord work for the first line of the verse once the singing or the words uh, start. So it starts off in A minor. You know how to play the chord already, so I can put it up. Uh, next chord is an A minor slash D. Basically, it's based off the A minor chord and you're just adding the G note. Next is an A minor 6, you're just bringing that note one down, one fret down, same string. And then finally you have the F major 7, which is on your chord chart uh, for you to refer to. Uh, this is just a reminder that the last uh, note is on your fourth fret. These two chords right here are not on your chord chart. If you need to make a notation on your music, uh, by all means do that. The, uh, the A major 7 in the song is on your chord chart. The F sharp minor is on your chord chart. Uh, by the way, F sharp minor is the same thing as G flat minor. So just to let you know, on your chord chart, uh, if you want to find this chord, look it up as a G flat minor. Okay, so on your chord chart, it's listed as G flat minor. Keep in mind that they're both the same thing and they both look like that. Now I have this with a narrow going into that so basically what I'm doing is I'm playing the F sharp minor and I'm going into a full bar chord F sharp minor. You don't have to do that I think it sounds a little better but you can keep one of them you can just play this one already through or this already through and if you want to join me and go from here to there it's basically two F sharp minors sounds kind of neat oh by the way if you want to play the song and if the F major 7 is a little too difficult just play an F chord and it, it, it'll work um, I think that F major 7 sounds a little better but go at your pace okay so let's talk about the music now so you have your music sheet in front of you um, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to sing all the way until the um, I'm going to play all the way into the second to the last verse. If you notice the very last verse, it reads, look at you all, dot, dot, dot. Next, the very last line, it goes, still my guitar gently weeps. Basically, that last verse is an optional verse, meaning that uh, depending on who's the artist uh, or player, they, they, they can vary that last verse. So they can, you know, pick and choose what words you want to sing and usually like you know there's a guitar solo going over that last verse as well so to get to my point I'm gonna sing the second to the last verse it has all the words in there and then I'm gonna jump to the ending theme the very last line and I'll guide you I'll let you know what we're doing and, and how we're coming about and then when we start a song I'm gonna play the intro two times so just follow me and then we'll start into the singing okay so um uh, the strum is basically just an up and down strum, just like this, just like that. So just kind of do a dampening strum exercise with me, just get to get the feel and I'll give a four count. We'll start with the intro two times and then we'll start the song, okay? Not too fast, yeah. One, two. One, two, three, four. Intro. Huh? 
With every mistake We must surely be learning Still my guitar gently weeps I don't know how You were diverted doing that the very last line was I was going A minor, A slash G, A minor 6 into the F and then I just did a scrum with my baby finger coming on down that on the first string right there on the third fret. Or strumming. So that's all I did for the varying ending there. So give that a try. Uh, hopefully you took some notes on the lesson. Um, try it for a couple of times, get it smooth, and um, don't forget to uh, take note on any chords that could slow you down, work them out first uh, before you try the song again. Okay, so when you're ready for the next lesson, we'll see you then.